Hello and welcome back to Witcher King. So we are going to win another war against Redania, taking another duchy from them. And then we're going to have to go down and beat up all these card total revolts that have been declared on us. So things are not looking great. However, the amount of war score that we've got from these battles, we've capped it out already from two battles. We can siege this stuff down and that will get us enough war score. Edirne's already sieging. It's perfect. It's a nice, easy war against Redania. Uh, we're not going to assault. We're just going to siege. But... It should be fine. We, we siege fairly quickly because we have uh, the extra, um, like we have the extra siege technology as well, which makes this go very quickly. Right, ninety-three percent, one hundred percent war score. Nice arranged marriage. You would like Wigstan to marry this person? Sure. Um, we are unmarried. Oh, did Cyrilla die? She did. Uh, natural death. Oh, okay. Well, we can see if we can find anybody else we want to marry. Um, who's in charge over here now? It's now King Corpin. Okay. Right. Um, so we're looking for a woman who is in my religion group, who we don't care about. Well, we actually don't care about joining court. Who has to be unmarried. So, yeah. That's about it. Age. And then we're looking for just anybody who catches our eye. Oh, we could marry the actual Cir Cirilla. Because the one that we married, I believe, is a fake Cirilla. We can now marry the actual one. The actual Siri. Um. Sure. Yeah. Sure. That works out. <laughs> okay. I, I think that's quite amusing, really. Maybe it's just me. We could also press our claim on the kingdom if we wanted to suicide into Nilfgaard. Like, people have been asking, why haven't you attacked Nilfgaard yet? They have 25,000 men. We have, at most, like, what, 5,000? We have 7,000 right now with our al but With our allies, we have 12,000. It's just not an easy, like, it's not a war we could win. Um, I mean, we could win it, maybe, if the AI, like, if we could somehow, you know, attack the AI before they merge up. But, yeah, it's not an easy war. Um, right, so we've now taken over all of that. We didn't get any land ourselves, that's fine. Uh, due to enemy presence in your homeland, we can't do anything. That's fine, we'll call people into all of our wars. Call people into all of our wars, call people into all of our wars, call people into all of our wars. Right, now we are threatening again at 29%, which is pretty high. Yep, defensive packs are going to start forming. It's not great. Uh, hopefully these guys down here don't go into defensive packs and we can start just uh, taking over them. But we'll see. We'll see. The amount of Redania we've taken is very nice. That's an, almost enough to start us getting towards our empire. As Redania, we now control 17... Well, we control 17 out of the 41. If we get another 4 provinces, that puts us up to 21 and then we can usurp it. Which is perfect. We definitely have the gold for that. In fact, talking of gold, we're about to hit our gold for our next, uh, for our next, what's it called? Uh, ambition. Yeah. Mass fortune. Cool. Um, let's uh, get that guy in as a commander. Uh, he can lead there. Right. Looking to head straight down there. Uh, everyone join our armies, please, if you can. That'd be nice. Uh, looks like Kovir is not winning their war any longer. Oh, well. We're not going to go help them. We have our own problems. Uh, we have enough to take this. They'll get a bonus from the hills, though. All right, we'll, we'll recharge in our own provinces, waiting for our allies to come. That's fine. I think we do, yeah, we do recharge in this province, which is nice. Wait, wait, is that Sky Tower Revolt about to win against us? No, that's one about to win against uh, Edirne. Okay. Okay. You know... Getting a little bit nervous there. I was like, we're going to lose Vizima. Are we going to lose this one? Nah, we're good. Stennis of Edirne lost. So that means that Rom uh, Rombas became independent. Okay. Um, once this army joins us, I think we'll attack. Yeah, so 6,000, 7,000. I think we're good. I think we're good. They don't tend to have leaders on all their flanks. Um, you know, we'll put in that guy instead. Now we have a flanking leader. Good. They have no leaders. Nice. So, even though they have the hills bonus, we should destroy them. Yeah. Which we do. We fulfilled our thing to amass fortune. We have won against this uh, revolt. We'll offer peace and enforce our demands. Nice. Um, we need a new ambition. Amass a horde of wealth. 
just get even more stewardship very, very slowly. You know what? Sure. Amass a horde of wealth. Let's head down to our capital. We're going to take it back. Dangerous factions for independence. Um, gifts. Now get that guy out of it. This guy we can't prove opinion with. This guy hates us even more each second that we're around. It's because of raised levies. Oh. I will send him a gift. Okay, we should probably not have a rev our, our levies raised for a while. Okay, it's a fair fight. Same same number of troops on each side. However, we're, we're going to win. Because he has no leaders. Yeah. Okay, nice. There's another Skytel revolt down. We're going to disband our... Wait a second, and then disband our men. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, I had something I was going to do... Oh yeah, we're going to deal with our prisoners. Let's see. We get uh, our one gold. We'll get our 70 gold for this guy. Uh, uh, we'll get our 200 gold for that guy. And we'll execute this one. Nice. <sighs> we're not in that bad a spot overall. We are expanding. Okay. Yes, I'll join your war against the Scorytel. Now, we could attack Porzus right now. Although they are in our defensive pact, which is not great. Uh, but actually, they're the kind of person that you could consider attacking even with a defensive pact. Because what you, you don't need to beat the whole pact; you just need to beat Porzus. So if you could go, if you could, uh, you know, rush in there and siege, you you win the war. Um, but yeah, we're, we'll, we'll we'll let our threatening decay for a little bit. We are quite old. Hmm. I'd like I like it if we could maybe, um, yeah. If we could uh, not die, that'd be great. Or if we could die quickly and then Simon can take over, that'd be great. Either one is a good position to be in. Um, we do have a granddaughter. Who, are they in line to... Uh, yeah, they're currently in line to divert. Perfect. Okay, more people are joining the defensive pact against us. That's fine. Absolutely fine. Although I think one of them was somebody who uh, died and then their next person in line took over the defensive pact. So it's not a big deal for us. This person's taken a title. He's taken the county of Rundum. I don't think that's an expansion for us. I could be wrong, though. You know, like, it could be... That could have been an expansion of our realm. Um, Maybe. Maybe. Anyway. Uh, although I think I've heard Rundum before, so maybe I don't think it is. But yeah, we're expanding. It might be a good time to talk about. Somebody did ask last week, so I feel it's a question other people may have had. Why don't we just take over one of these really small kingdoms and make that our third kingdom for the, uh, like for the United North? Well, the United North event, if you have a look at it, requires that we have one of these specific kingdoms under our control, which the small kingdoms are not one of them. So that's pretty much the reason why. So we're going for Redania to get that. Now, I still don't know if that event will work after we get Redania, but I, I think it will. I think it's just described weirdly, weirdly, but we'll see. We'll see. Threatening is going to tick down. That's good. We're at 21%. Uh, it's going to keep going. I, I think it's less than 5% and then we're good. Uh, a merchant caravan from distant lands has arrived at the gates of our stronghold. Their leader, a jovial man of massive girth. Um, I don't know how we know that, but anyway. Uh, pleads with you in a strange accent to grant them shelter from the elements of the night. I know that what it means, but I like to take it the other way here. Well, we'll let them in. As evening falls, the fat merchant sits by the fire and regales you and the rest of the court with stories of his travels. His appetite seems insatiable, but you do not wish to prove a poor host. You order your servant to bring in a second serving. Okay. Tell us about this mythical realm of hack. Okay, dawn breaks and the caravan prepares to move on. The merchant insists on leaving you a gift as thanks for your great hospitality. He shouts a terse command in a foreign language and a young man comes forward. This eunuch will serve you well. Uh, his loyalty to you, his new master, shall be beyond reproach. Um, sure, we'll accept him. That's fine. Cool. Uh, Stennis won his Scartel revolt. Nice. Uh, I was lying sick in bed when Dru Druid Christoph Smith visited me. On his way, he'd gathered some herbs against the cold. I took the herbs and the fever was gone instantly. We're not ill, though, but we lost ill. That's good. Um, this person is promoting vile heresies. We can force him out of factions, if he's in any. Which he's not. So, we'll keep the information to ourselves. Uh, we're still threatening. Oh, our second uh, Siri died. There we go. 
Um, is there a is there a third Siri? Uh, can we can we collect the full set? Right, let's let's have a look here. Who else have we got? Who's who's interesting to marry? Um, got a lot of sixty-year-old uh, priestesses. Probably not the best. Um, I don't know. I'm just scrolling through, see if anybody catches my eye as like you know they're a high rank or something like that. Doesn't appear so. Doesn't appear so. Uh, I'm basically just looking entirely at the portraits here and seeing if any of them have like a blue border or a gold border or anything around them. 30 is a little bit too young because it means that they might actually, um, like, they might, um, I completely lost my train of thought. If, um, yeah, we might be able to have children with them, which is something we really don't want to happen because that means that we'll ha have gavel kind and everything will split apart. Right. Um, let's see where we're going here. We could marry Saskia. <laughs> Maybe. Not not weird at all. You know what? Not weird at all. We'll marry Saskia. Uh, Baron Rudger Lavalette is a serf of the county of Lavalette from uh, Argin. Okay, there you go. He's no longer in charge. Over there. We have now married Saskia, the dragon slayer of Edern. Okay. Uh, we could press her claims on, uh, like on the Kingdom of the Pontar and put her back in charge and be in a very weird position again. Uh, we're not going to do that, but we could. So yeah, we our father married her, now we married her. That's just what you do when you're an old, uh, you know, what's our uh, Desmodin? Okay. Right, so what are we doing here? We're threatening. Let that continue to tick down. Oh, what was that one? Sorceress. Oh, seeks to discredit someone. Oh well, whatever. I expressed my views on the whole religion and God thing a bit too loud and got into a lot of trouble with a priest because of it. Oh well. There goes our piety. Oh, a sky tower vault. Oh, okay. I haven't had one of those in ages. Ages and ages. Right. Well, we'll get everybody ready. We'll raise up our armies. Get the bottom half to merge up over here. We'll get the top half to merge up up here. Well, probably over there. We'll let one of these... Yep, we'll disband one of these armies because they're going to try and attack us. That's fine. Answer the call to war. No, no longer a participant, but then when we invite him in again, he'll be a participant in the war. Right. There we go. Oh, one of our vassals' uh, armies just got destroyed there on the way past by the Scoritel. Okay, that's fine. Um, continue merging. What we might want to do with this army is tell them to go down like this now. Get them all to head down to Vizima. And then we'll tell this army to head up to Vizima. Cool, cool. The alliance between us and Stennis has broken down as our half-sister has died. Okay. So these are our nephews and things. Can we get an alliance back? Uh, no, because we have no, no way to get an alliance. Okay, um, ideally we want to, uh, we want to get one of our half-brothers or something married. He is married already. Most of our family is dead. Yeah, I guess we just lost our alliance with Edder. That's, that's huge. This might be the last war they're in with us. Okay, I mean, until we unite the North and bring them under our control by force. But you know. Maybe the last war that they're in with us. Um, okay, well, we'll tell everybody to come join us over here. So we now have Kovir as our main uh, person, which, like, our main ally. Not quite as good overall, to be honest with you. A peasant's revolt has been declared. Oh, okay, well, that's new. It's interesting. Um, we'll go beat that one up first, because it's on the way. There we go. Uh, we'll put these three in charge. I like how we're just crossing paths. It's like, yeah. You get, you guys head that way, we'll head the other way. We'll be up somewhere in the middle. Let's head to Angkor. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Angkor. Right. Um, merge up here. And cool, we've got another technology advancement. Uh, we go up to the next level of legalism. Unlocks decisions not available for our character. Ooh. Uh, I think we're going to go feudal vassal opinion on that one. 
And then over here, we could go cab or light infantry. Uh, what's our army made up of? A ton of light infantry. Oh well, we'll raise light infantry effectiveness. You know what, we'll raid trade practices while we're here as well. Okay. Attack in. 9,000 versus 2,000. Very easy war. We informed that while scavenging the battlefield for reusable equipment, uh, one of our soldiers was caught and eaten by a gravier. We'd hunt it down alone, or we could hunt it down with the group of soldiers. Uh... Hmm. Alone? Sounds really bad as a decision. But we're gonna do it. We're now brave. Is where we're going. We'll, we'll beat it up. We venture out from our camp and make our way onto the battlefield. It's not long before we discover the trail of half even corpses. And then you see it, a hulking mass of thick skin and muscle slurping marrow from a femur. The thigh bone explodes into bits and pieces as the gravier turns towards you. Charge. You charge the beast. After several minutes of brutal combat, you emerge the victor with several wounds to show for it. Ah, we have gained a wounded. So we are in minus one health. However, we do have the plus 0.1 from the bloodline. It's not the worst. And we have 0.25 from being cannon. We're not as bad as we could be, but it's still not amazing for us right now. Uh, we beat the peasants revolt as well. Uh, let's, uh, let's execute them. There we go. Goodbye, Wolfrat. I'll merge these armies together, put in a new commander who's going to be that guy, and then we'll go beat up the Skoyatel. Are any of our allies actually coming here? Nope. Our allies have no intention of ever coming up here. Okay, just yesterday, uh, Druid Kristoff Smith put some herbs and bandaged my... Put on some herbs and bandaged my wound. Now fully healed, it leaves a pretty grotesque scar behind. Ah, okay, I forgot. We could also use magical healing on ourselves if we need to do that at some point. All right, we'll beat up uh, this army. Wins us the war. Nice. 100%. We'll offer peace and force our demands. It looks like the same is about to happen to Kovir up north. They're about to lose their war. Yep. That's it over. We're now at peace. Vassals are really not happy that we've raised their troops, but there's not really a lot we can do about that when we're in defensive wars. Oh yeah, we'll put in Saskit as our commander. That seems perfect, to be honest with you. Oh, Peasants Revolt could have waited like 10 seconds. We can't call them into this war? Okay. Well, we'll raise up our men. <laughs> and we'll merge them. Uh, we'll merge the, the bottom half over here. Merge the top half in here. Okay. They're going for my army? No, they're not going for my army. That's fine. Um, we'll let them merge over here in Redania. Some Skytel have attacked us. Oh, well. That is a unique event. Okay. Let's continue merging up. Get these people where we need them to go. Allies can come into the Skoyatel War. Well, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll invite them in. Even though they're so far away, they won't do anything at this point. Because they're not Edder and they're not perfectly positioned to be our ally. You know, we'll do that. We should have married our uh, daughter off to uh, one of Edder's uh, sons. One of Stennis' sons. But actually, what's very nice is that when um, Stennis dies, we actually have an alliance again. Because all of these people will be my nephews and nieces. Which means they will be blood connected to us, which is nice. Blood connected. That wasn't quite the way I was meaning for that phrase to come out, but you know what? That works. It, it is essentially what we're talking about. Right, merge them up. Uh, merge them up. Get these ones to head around to here. And we'll move this one up. There we go. Saskia can lead along with Elaine. Cool. Uh, we now have a rash. Okay, cast heal on us. Um, well, we need our court priest not to be drained. Not priest, uh, sorceress not to be drained. As court musician. Never mind. Um, okay, when does drain go away for you? October this year. Okay. Thinks we have smallpox. Well, that's not great, I would say. 
Uh, oh, we got this excellent treatment. That's good. We can hold off until October then. When we, uh, yeah, we can hold off anything major till October when we can just use magic to heal ourselves. Offer peace and force demands. Nice. Um, he has arrived at our court. What are we going to do with him? Oh, well, this guy we're going to, um, like, banish, and this guy we're going to execute. There we go. We'll merge up here. Get these two armies together. 10,000 men. Saskia will now win us another battle. We can seek treatment. We're not going to do that. We are going to slow things down. I think it's the 18th of October. Uh, it is in, it's the 20th of October. Okay. Uh, maybe not that slow. Uh, we now have Malaise. Okay. Someone from the court of somewhere is going to go and do something. That's fine. Declare a war. Uh, I'm still looking at the dates. Oh, 20. Okay. Heal. They must have used it instantly. No, we need to wait a day. Heal. Heal. There we go. Lose any bad health traits apart from stressed and depressed. That's what we're after. Cast heal. We're cured? I think. Yeah, we're cured. Nice. And then we got our headache again. Oh no. I guess you have to wait for till the full illness is there for this to truly work. When does her um, thing come off again? Uh, April. April. Okay. We're okay. Uh, 100%. Uh, we'll just enforce our demands. Disband the troops. Nice. Get rid of this. Get rid of this guy. Let's execute him. Nice. Why is our revolt risk so high? Oh, it must be because of like these werewolf things. We hire a witcher. I guess it's because we invited a witcher and they just haven't arrived yet. It's just a mean time to happen. That's pretty annoying. Oh, we can have court mage do other things in battle. Oh, all right then. Or we can have them permanently heal us so we don't die. That seems pretty good. You know what? Yeah, we'll go with that one. Uh, can we declare another thing against you? It would be truce, but no, we can't declare another one against him. We could maybe kill him. Do we still... No, we don't. Have, we, we have family. We could change family focus. I don't know why we still have it. I mean, we probably have it for the diplomacy, which is quite nice. Um, We could change it to something like hunting if we want to get some more health. It could work. Yeah. Let's switch over to the hunting focus. Just move into something that gives us a little bit of health. That seems alright. We're also getting there with the money as well, which is nice. Um, do you want to pay for our random courtier's education? I mean, she is kind of related to us. So you know what? We'll pay. It's only 20 gold. It's like one month's income. It's not that bad for like six years of education. Oh, we have smallpox. Well, that's not great. Uh, hope we survive. Well, we have the brave trait. Cure us, Kristoff. Cure us. He approached you with a small knife. You held your arm steady and made... A, he held your arm steady and made a precise incision. He, barely breaking your skin, he then proceeded to press something against the wound. It looked like diseased tissue and you shuddered. I should never have trusted Kristoff. Negative three health? Negative six health? If we can survive till April, we're fine. But if we can, then we're screwed. So, well, we're dead. There we go. We have a new heir. If we die now, we'll play as Rose Simon's data. Okay. King Busey of Temeria has died leaving you, his father, his son, his most prized possessions. So we now have the Guerra Sword. King Busey has ascended to heaven at age 51. He died of smallpox. Prone to sloth, he never did anything he did not have to. A wicked man, Busey will surely pay for his sins in the afterlife. King Simon, blessed with an abundance of friends. Simon is likely to find strong support for his rule. Long live King Simon. Well, that's nice. Yeah, that's a positive thing for us to end the episode on. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.